UNFPA celebrated its 50th year of operation in Ethiopia yesterday on March 16 in Ait Regency Hotel. Regional Director of UNFPA East and Southern Africa, Lydia Zugomo, and Her Excellency State Minister of Finance for Economic Cooperation, Samarta Sosa, were present for the celebration and expressed their happiness at what has been achieved in Ethiopia, especially the decrease of pregnancy mortality rates. The commemoration of UNFPA Ethiopia at 50 started with a high-level event with senior government officials, dignitaries from development partners, and representatives of major implementing partners and stakeholders. A dialogue forum anchored the event, which looked back at the half a century of operations of UNFPA in Ethiopia as the lead UN agency on sexual and reproductive health and rights, population and gender equality, and women empowerment. The UNFPA regional director, Ms. Zigomo, added, UNFPA will redouble efforts in attaining the three zeros plus one, ending unmet need for family planning, ending preventable maternal death, ending gender-based violence and harmful practices against women and girls, ending gender-based violence and harmful practices against women and girls, and ending sexual transmission of HIV. Because of the close partnership that we enjoy, uh, the tremendous hard work that goes on the ground through UNFPA, you rightly pointed out uh, that Ethiopia is going through uh, different and uh, challenging time, and this is particularly so for uh, the youth and also uh, women. So it's very important uh, that as UNFPA uh, designs its programs and mobilizes resources, that the resources are effectively and efficiently utilized. Uh, the needs are, uh, are various and vast. Uh, and, and as a country with a very high uh, youth population, we feel it's very important that we uh, utilize this youth uh, dividend and through properly uh, crafted programs. So again, I would like to congratulate your team and the hard work that you've been doing. Uh, and would like to point out uh, that you need to continue utilizing the roadmaps that the government has in place. Uh, and in the past, we have had the opportunity to closely design uh, programs based on 10 years uh, growth and development plan. Uh, and once again, it's our sincere hope as, as we uh, look into, uh, into where we are, that we will continue uh, implementing with much greater efficiency. In her speech, the regional director said that Ethiopia has done well regarding the decrease of pregnant teenagers' mortality rate, and by making progress in this area, Ethiopia is getting closer to the millennial and sustainable developmental goals. We asked what methods Ethiopia used to achieve this result and how far we are left with to accomplish these goals. Problems, but also in increasing the contraception prevalence rates, which are not easy things to have uh, done in a context where we do have quite strong social and cultural and religious uh, beliefs systems and um, you know the role of women and girls um, has to be navigated very carefully in terms of understanding women and girls uh, empowerment so i would i would say those are, are particular things i i, I would um, commend the government of ethiopia for that's not to say that we have therefore uh, finished the work we still have, um, while we have halved, so we reduced from 400 and something per 100,000 live births to over 200 um, per 100,000 live births, uh, the deaths of, of, preg of, of women uh, during pregnancy re uh, related um, uh, complications. That's still a high um, maternal mortality, mortality rate. So we still want to reduce it further. And we believe that Ethiopia is in a good place to reduce that. And while contraception um, access has increased, we still also want to see uh, continued uh, focus, particularly um, in relation to young women and adolescent girls. So there is still work to be done. But I think in terms of what did the government do and what did UNFA do in support with them to, to register those achievements, I think first the government had a clear plan. I think that's always the most important thing that um, uh, these types of initiatives, this type of vision be state-led. And that plan was, um, um, we, uh, we were discussing even the Health Extension Worker Program and other issues with the Minister of Health and others that I've met with. So those plans and programs were initiated by the government of, of Ethiopia. The other thing the Ethiopian government has been very good at is ensuring that it honors its commitments at a United Nations level in supporting even the agenda of UNFPA. So